a controversy has erupted in Wisconsin's Superior School District over a gender identity education video shown to fourth and fifth graders. The animated video features two kids discussing the distinction between sex and gender, leading to concerns among some parents about the appropriateness and impact of such lessons on young students. Don't miss. What's the controversy surrounding gender identity education in the Superior School District? How does the district defend its curriculum against accusations of indoctrination? What are the primary points of disagreement between parents and educational experts regarding this curriculum? Aww. Hi, baby. Are you a boy or a girl? Funny you should ask, Sid. One of the first things they check when a new baby is born is what kind of body parts they have. They do that to determine a baby's sex. Most of the time, it's easy to determine, and sometimes it's more complicated. This one has a penis. It's a boy! This one has a vulva. It's a girl! Congratulations! Whoa! Let's hit the brakes, people. The way your body looks on the outside is only part of the story. The way your body looks on the outside is only part of the story. The essence of self-discovery goes beyond surface-level recognition. Although appearances matter to some extent, a true understanding of one's identity necessitates recognizing the importance of biological reality. Huh? What? <sighs> Stay with me, gang. This is important. Hi, little one. Your sex refers to your physical body parts, remember? But there is also something called gender, which is how you feel inside your body and who you know yourself to be. Your sex refers to your physical body parts, but there is also something called gender, which is how you feel inside your body and who you know yourself to be. Understanding the difference between gender identity and biological sex is essential, particularly in how it may impact young individuals. The significance of biological sex in shaping personal identity cannot be overlooked. And your gender, how you feel on the inside, doesn't always match the sex you were called when you were born. Okay. Let's say you were born with a penis and you feel like a boy inside. In that case, your sex and your gender match. But what if you were born with a penis and you know you're a girl inside, not a boy? Then your sex and your gender don't match. Wait, what does know you're a girl inside mean anyway? Does that mean you have to love pink things and princesses? Nope. Sometimes people refer to things as girl things and boy things, but this is just how people sometimes classify things, usually to make it easier to sell stuff to kids and their parents. Sometimes people refer to things as girl things and boy things, but this is just how people sometimes classify things, usually to make it easier to sell stuff to kids and their parents. Children's views on gender roles are significantly shaped by factors like political pressure and societal influence. The advocacy for certain trends is complicated by the increasing integration of political motives into gender norms and parental rights, making it a more complex and weighty issue. Clothes, toys, and games are for everyone. You don't have to be a boy or a girl to like a certain thing. Clothes, toys, and games are for everyone. You don't have to be a boy or a girl to like a certain thing. The importance of inclusivity but expresses concerns about relying solely on impulsive self-assessment by minors in promoting non-traditional gender expression. Emphasizing the need for a thoughtful approach urges a deeper consideration of how children, under parental guidance, navigate political influence without being biased in their perspectives. Sid, has anyone ever told you that you shouldn't play with something or wear something because you're a boy? Well... Yes? The body parts you were born with don't always dictate who you are, how you feel, or what you like to play with. The body parts you were born with don't always dictate who you are, how you feel, or what you like to play with. The agreement on individuality is limited, raising concerns about the repercussions of separating identity from tangible reality. This separation poses a significant risk as it neglects the crucial role of biological factors in shaping one's identity. Ah, that's such a relief. Gender, how you feel and who you know yourself to be, tells you who you are. And there are a whole bunch of possibilities. Figuring out what feels right for you is just part of growing up. Figuring out what feels right for you is just part of growing up. Embarking on a journey of self-discovery holds immense significance, urging individuals to tread cautiously especially when confronted with irreversible decisions such as surgery that can significantly mold a child's future trajectory. 
<laughs> Bye, little cutie. Um, you might want to change that diaper sooner than later. Um, you might want to change that diaper sooner than later. In discussions on gender identity, the consideration of humor frequently emerges. Questions about its appropriateness arise due to the serious and sensitive nature of the subject. <sighs> The controversy surrounding gender identity education in Wisconsin's Superior School District highlights the ongoing tension between different viewpoints on how schools should approach topics related to gender and sexuality. As the legal battle continues, the debate underscores the importance of finding a balanced and respectful approach to educating students on matters that elicit diverse opinions within the community. The prospect of introducing intricate ideas such as gender identity to fourth and fifth graders raises concerns among many. Some worry about potential confusion and whether it aligns with their age. Defining gender through biology holds significance, yet emphasizing teachings over biological truths might sway a child's inherent tendencies. Disagreements surface not solely about gender identity, but also about teaching methodologies and the perceived imbalance, teetering between education and indoctrination. This underscores the ongoing clash between parental authority over their children's education and the push for an inclusive environment advocated by the left-leaning faction. Debates brew, should schools exclusively focus on conventional subjects, or must they tackle societal matters, including diversity and inclusion, within their curriculum? This approach divides opinions sharply. Some champion it for fostering inclusivity and self-acceptance, while others dread its potential to befuddle young minds or distort biological realities. Introducing these concepts early might reshape how children view themselves and others, potentially leading to internal conflicts or uncertainties about their identity. What do you think? I promote myself and my videos. Hello, I'm Bong Sim, a Canadian resident of Asian descent. During the day, I work as a professional counselor, and at night, I do Uber food delivery. Instead of speaking in my videos, I prefer to express myself through writing. In today's world, speaking the truth can have serious consequences, both for my professional life and personal well-being. That's why I'm choosing to pen down my thoughts and using a platform to share them on my behalf. Some people find my videos uninteresting, too strict, and they even criticize the appearance of the individuals featured, including their tiredness, Asian, or perceived flaws. I understand these concerns, but I genuinely believe in the purpose behind creating these videos. Unfortunately, recent Canadian legislation has resulted in the censorship of free speech and online content, and although Google hasn't explicitly admitted their involvement, I suspect they play a part in it. Despite my efforts to monetize my content on YouTube, I haven't been able to earn any income from it. I've tried three times, and all my attempts were rejected. They turned me down for reasons like lacking creativity, not having a recognizable face, or not having a distinct voice. Nevertheless, I've made several adjustments to my videos, hoping to overcome these challenges. If you share my belief and support what I'm doing, I would genuinely appreciate your backing. 